You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist Kinsman and Mike Benyon Rowe. Do you remember when William Shatner wore a corset? No, I'm not as old as you. Rude. That's true. It is very rude. Hello, welcome to Chewing the Cuds. You're always horrible to me, you I'm are. I'm not always horrible you to you. You absolutely are always no, horrible to if me. if you think about, like, last year, mm -hmm. right, I was nice to you for about 30 seconds. I suffer. I genuinely... I suffer. Yeah, what have you got for us this week, Mike? I suffer if you don't enjoy it. Well, <laughs> this week, I've, I've got a story that I can relate to, um, and then we get all scientific in that science, that is. Oh, and we even have a game to play in our game of the week. But on the screen now, you can see our social media contact info. Just look for at the Cud TV. And as the names of people who have dropped us a line go along the bottom of the screen, we ignore the fact that we've got a dog licking a vagina, and we go over to Mist in the Showbiz News. <laughs> out ready for the showbiz what if i said no what if i withdraw consent uh well we wouldn't have much of a show okay i suppose i'll have to say yes then yeah well i've got some very interesting things okay so billy eilish uh-huh we've spoken about her before yeah um she was a little bit uh, coy about being asked about her sexuality i'm <sighs> It wasn't a surprise to me when, when she answered the question. Well, no, she did kind of make that back. point, yeah, didn't yeah. she? It was like, didn't you know? Um, and it's nobody's business but her own unless she wants it to be. And oh. she's been quite vocal about that since saying that she felt very annoyed that people were interested about that and how they were interested yeah. about that and the pressures about it all. However, now it is out there, she's quite vocal She's opened somewhat. She she's bloomed. Trace of Anton Bloom, strong artist. Well, it's all out there now. Yes. <laughs> um, we we've spoken uh, another week about her new song. Uh huh. Um, that's from her third album, which she's not going to. The interesting thing for me, she's not going to release any singles from this album. Ooh. She's just releasing the album. Nice. So, so that is going to be out there. Um, there she is. Look there at she her. Is. Very chirpy. Well, she's getting quite gothy, but sophisticated and sty Billy Stylish. Wednesday Adams. Yes, absolutely. Well, as stylish as she looks now, um, the way she's talking about things to confirm that she is a uh, lesbian um, is... <laughs> well, I can't say it. What is she, she saying? Um, mm, there, you, there you go. Why can't you say it? Because it's very explicit, uh, and, and I'm a gentleman. I don't use such language. Uh, 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 you're not pointed out what I'm supposed to be reading, because this is all just like facts. Well, her new song, Lunch, yeah. is very explicit in its language. Okay. And she said that she wrote it before even doing anything with a girl, and then wrote the rest after. Okay. She's been in love with girls her whole life, uh -huh. but she just didn't understand until last year that she just... Um, I'm so sorry. Wanted her face in a vagina. OK. Your nan's not watching, it's OK. My nan might be watching! No, she won't, she's dead. Yeah, man, they're, 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 both, they're both long, long dead. Yeah. Um, but, it, yeah, it's, it's, she's, she's not pulling any punches, is she? She's just laying it all out there. Oh, she's not laying it all out there. She's from num num num. <laughs> she's a bit like this dog. But yeah, that's, I, I think that pug might be called Billy. Yeah. It's, it's really going to town, it's going isn't to it? Town. It's really after them lips at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> So's Billy. <Yeah. laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, it, it's it, 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 it. We we don't go for explicit language on this show. We we try to oh, be subtle. <laughs> this, this show is ninety nine percent dick joke. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, anyway, the third album will be released on the seventeenth of May. Okay, cool. Not long to wait at all then. Nope, not as long at all. Moving on to other news. Uh -huh. We haven't got long to wait for Eurovision. Yay! Are you not excited by Eurovision? Right. 
So I, I think that Eurovision is very much like a first date. Uh-huh. You build up to all this excitement. Mm -hmm. You get ready. Mm -hmm. You have a couple of drinks. Mm -hmm. And then he comes within 30 seconds and you're massively disappointed. What a misery. I love it. It's great. It's great until the very end when you're watching us slowly droop. Well, that is like a first date for you, isn't it? Um, yeah, oh, no, I, I love it. I, gen I absolutely... Difficult working in my world. I'm usually very hammered by the time they do the score. Exciting erections, wherever I go. I love Eurovision. I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Eurovision. Um, the only problem is I tend to get absolutely hammered by the time the scoring happens. So that whole thing about feeling disappointed about how well England's doing, I've accepted that. The UK's always going to do awful. So I, I'm not... Apart from the, the time we didn't win but still managed to host it. Well, yes. But we, we, we did all right, came second then. But I think that's because of the politics as well. I always believe that the person that comes second is the winner. Again, we're not talking about your sex life. I was referring to a date. Hmm. Anyway, the news about Eurovision, because mm -hmm. we're, we're rapidly coming up to it uh, happening. Um, the odds... If you, Are you a betting person? Not really. Well... I mean, I, I put money on the lottery. Mm -hmm. That's my just pissing it up the wall, isn't it? That's more of a raffle than really like betting on the outcome or something because you think you might have an insight on which horse is doing well and healthy anyway. Anyway, the reason the the um, God, what do you call them bookies? They are improving the odds on all the uh, gay entrants, all the LGBT entrants in, so in all of them Europe. apart from Russia. They're not all gay. They're very all gay friendly. Um, but no, these particular entrants are own Oli Alexander Bimini? as well. It's not Bimini. No, this I've I've, I've heard the track for this one. Um, it's going to be the anti anti Brexiteers anthem, Euro Papa. It's I've heard Euro Papa. Yeah, it's if you ever get the chance to check, it's Beth, it's definitely the camp stupid entry of this year. Um, apart from another one called Rintin from Croatia, which is also kind of a banging rave anthem, but nice. very stupid lyrics. The lyrics are daft. I like a stupid lyric. Well, the video for Euro Papa and the dance. If it's an any indication about what's going to happen with the live performance. That's going to be the big camp hit. It's just freaking daft. Um, Oli Alexander, I mean... I have loved Oli Alexander for years and years. Well, he, he's a bit of a dish, and if you've heard the song Dizzy, it's it's not bad. It's a, a bit of a banger. It's all right. It's very um, Eurovision. The odds for them, though, are not looking good. He's only 12th favourite to win. So 12th. Let's go on to a different topic uh, before this is completely derailed by uh, my co-host here. Um, so, a little, uh, a little fashion for you. Mm -hmm. The Olympics 2024 in Paris are coming up. They are, August. And they have released the British oh. uniform. Oh. Mm. Now... I'll not bother you with all the different looks and stuff. It's It'll be white mostly and, their tracks. It'll be white and blue. It'll, it'll be why. And there's been a lot of fuss recently about um, fashion houses releasing the Union Jack flag in a stylistic way because apparently that's not patriotic and might be a little bit too woke. That was from Keir Starmer, who could uh, jog on. Yeah, but he's having to try and, and plead towards the, the right of the Yeah. Way, but just to give you a taste, um, shall we have a look at Tom Daly? Is this just a... a Way of looking at a, a twonk in a swimming costume. Absolutely, it is. Can oh, we have okay. a look at the yeah. twonk, please? <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, what I never like about Tom Daly in his swimming trunks is they always smooth his area in post. Well, they have to. Well, why? I will tell you because for why. At the Olympics, it's there. You can see and go, hello. 
they they they'll they have to wear them two sizes smaller than they should do and and, and, they, and tom daly does handily tell us about this oh. we've always been working on the fit and the material to make sure they're as comfy as possible i don't think that's true when they're that tight um so that we can perform at our best for diving you want to make sure that everything's in place and that you don't need anything going awry especially when you're spinning around you hit the water at 35 miles per hour so you don't need anything in weird places basically you don't want to chop your cock off when you're diving into the water just into a bathtub of like razor blades chop your cock off it's what if it got you know slipped out the side slipped out the side if it, if it just trunks, you know but well, that's the point you've got to wear them tight no, what i'm saying is the fact that they are that tight when you're watching the olympics right as i do all the time you you can see a definite imprint of people that's um, because he's hanging around the pool with other similarly beautiful bodies but, but here a bit it's, of a hard it's too smooth they smooth it too much they actually smooth it in, in pictures because it's otherwise it's, it's porn mm, nothing yeah. that's still porn. i can't wait to watch the wrestling again mm. oh <laughs> the singlets <laughs> anyway uh that's everything from the showbiz Nice. And for those people who are watching the Olympics, I would recommend watching Georgia in the Olympics. Anyway, stick around, because next is Mike in the Buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist and Mike. Now let's go into the disgusting parts of the internet, as it's Mike with the Buzz. My search history. Well, you said the disgusting bits of the internet. Wow. Well, yeah. I I look at nothing but uh... porn. <laughs> <laughs> the word you're looking for is porn. I don't. I I, I Google nice wholesome things. Wholesome. 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 On. Mm, that might be it, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, on trains. <laughs> anyway, um, do you believe in ghosts? Yes, I do. Oh, good, this is handy. Um, when have you, have you ever heard a ghost? Nope. Ever seen a ghost? I think so, but not for definite. You think you saw a ghost? Yeah, but not in a way that I can go, ooh, ghosts are definitely real. Okay. I believe that there must be something. But I can't, I can't put, it'd be wrong of me to say, here's evidence. Because nobody can really do that. Well, one man thought he could. Oh. Right. As he thought he, he could hear voices and sometimes people singing and talking coming from his electric fan. So he would have his electric, when it was warm, he'd just pop his fan on to cool him, to waft him. To, a, a bit of wafting. A waft in the a evening. Waft. And he could hear people talking. And, and sometimes shouting, sometimes music, sometimes singing. It's weird. Was Where the window not just open and distorting nope. Nope. sounds from outside? Nope. It was actually the fact it was a quite cheap fan and not very well insulated. Um, and the way that we're going to bit that sciency, mm -hmm. radio waves, right, were being transmitted by the by the fan because the the coil inside was picking up a frequency of a radio station. Oh wow! Nearby. And when it was on, it wasn't actually wasn't the blades making the noise, it was actually the, the motor in the back picking up the radio waves. So he thought he was going slightly but raving mad, um, but it was actually the fan. OK. Yeah. Um, it can happen with any electronic device if the, the electronics aren't very well insulated. Mm -hmm. So we don't get that much in this country because of the regulations we've got, um, or within Europe because of the same regulations, because <laughs> Brexit happened. Um, and then, but like in other parts of the world where the regulations aren't that strong, mm -hmm. they can actually do this quite often. Wow. So, yeah, if you're ever in a far-flung country and you can hear somebody talking, maybe singing, turn off your electrics. Mm -hmm. Don't turn off the electrics if there's a gas leak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think, I think when it comes to haunted things making noises, mm -hmm. if they are uh, electrical or, or functional in some way, then that's less believable than it's okay. actually a spirit. Moving on. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with creepy crawlies? Mm, it depends. Sometimes I freak out. Sometimes I'm perfectly fine. Like, oh, spider, move out, save you. 
Okay. I can be very humane. Sometimes I'm like, Bleh! boom. Depends. Okay. It, it's, it's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Okay. So we don't know how you're going to react to a spider. If they're big and horrible and airy... <laughs> You'll try and date them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a spider in there. Um, well, if you're not a fan of arachnids, right, um, there's places that you shouldn't go on holiday because they've released a map mm -hmm. of places where you can find the underwater cannibal spider. That's a horrible title. There he is. Oh, no, that would scare the hell out of me. Well, you wouldn't see it because it's underwater, right? So it hangs upside down underwater, right? And then will eat anything that moves. That's upside down? Yes, yeah, so that's the top of the water there. Right? So if you look carefully, there's actually a bubble of air there so, mm -hmm. breathe, so it doesn't drown, right? But it's actually upside down, so that's the top. Of, it's, it hangs at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah? It's like it's crawling on the ceiling and it's sort the of surface thing. of the water. Exactly. And then something comes along and it goes, I'll have a dibble lap. Nom, 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 and nibbles. Well, that's ingenious, but horrifying. Yes, that is a spider I would be scared of. OK, so would you like to Absolutely know where terrifying. not to go on holiday to see this? Um, yes. Can I avoid it, please? OK. Um, France, Germany, Switzerland, Slovenia, Europe. It's not a far-flung tropical country, because you think it's going to be a far-flung Well, yeah, whenever country. I think about big, scary spiders, I usually think about Australia. Exactly. They're freaking huge over Europe. There. How big's this bad boy? Huh? How big's this bad boy? That one, it's about that big. That's not a life-size picture. Yeah. That's a life-size picture of, of the spider. Yeah, I think size is something to do size with it. Size matters. Don't yeah. what people say. Size matters. Especially when it comes to big, horrible, airy things. Yeah. <laughs> so, they're not yet in the UK, right? And I use the word yet because they could come. Is it a bit like the fire ants in Australia? They're not supposed to be there, but they've got there, and now they're there. They're, mm. they're there. Mm. This global warming thing needs to be stopped. Well, this isn't global warming. This is this is migration. Yeah, but isn't a lot of migration because of cha like a yeah. lot of yeah. it's like Japanese knotweed? It was brought over originally as a plant. To, mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. And now it's a, a pest, and you get it in your garden. Same with the ruddy squirrels. Yeah, um, The ruddy squirrels. The grey squirrels. Oh, the grey squirrels, yeah. Look at all squirrels. No, not all squirrels. No, but I don't like the look of the red ones. They're too tufty. Yeah. And if, if you don't like things that are tufty, um, why not share that with us at the Cud TV on social media? And you just don't like somebody stealing your nuts. Us. I love people stealing my nuts. That brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now. <laughs> oh, now he needs to stick to the script. I was part way through saying something. Right, now I'm going to have to ask you to, to just try and imagine this problem. OK, right. So, there has been an interview on This Morning, because that's still a TV show, apparently, um, with a gentleman about his life problems. Right? That, that's something they do on the show, yeah? Because yeah. people are assuming that his life is, is great, right, and everything's brilliant, right? Not a former presenter at all. No, it's not a former presenter. OK. Um, but they think everything's going wonderful and that sort of thing. And he's, he's opened up about some of the unseen expectations and realisations of having this particular problem. Now, I completely empathise with him on this and sympathise with him. OK? As the man with the UK's world's biggest penis has told people how much of a horror it is to have the world's biggest penis. So, yeah. He's saying that he has to, he has to bring it up. He has to mention it. Because if you, while you're dating someone, if you just take it into the bedroom, as it were, and they then see it, mo most people are shocked and scared, right? So you have to mention it at some point that I have a, a massive penis, right? Um, Is this the actual gentleman or... Uh, can I see this man? I want to see this <laughs> man! <laughs> I don't need, like... So, so, for his protection, I've purposefully not put a picture up. Or will I mention his name? Because someone has Google and tendencies. Right. Bit stalkery. <laughs> You're thinking about that, weren't you? I <laughs> really you. am. I absolutely really has am. Has he got an Instagram? <laughs> Sex sexual. He, oh, right. God, um, why? Because he finds the female form alluring. Right. Um, but he says you can't just like mention it like within the first 10 minutes, because that sounds pervy. 
hello, love, I've got a huge... Yeah. Exactly. So he's like, the, the problem's coming and... It's not of, classy. It's not classy. And then he says, well, you do actually get to it as well. Penetrative sex is very difficult. It's not as enjoyable because the person has to be very relaxed. Right? Um, not everybody's into fisting. Uh, <laughs> right? The, the part has to be relaxed and they have to be prepared for it and it, it, it can be more of a journey. Whack on just... some Enya, bring out the gun oil. <laughs> we all know he just uses spit. <laughs> I'm playing a triangle down there. <laughs> can, we go, can we go to break? I might need a minute. Got a minute? <laughs> you might need a minute. 30 seconds, that includes rolling the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Got wrong there, have I? See, not denying it. Right. Um, How big actually is it? It's 13 and a half inches. But, uh, but length is one thing. What... They, they, they didn't talk about the girth. They were talking about the length because it wasn't a let's see if it will whet your appetite show. It was a this is the situation. Like, you don't put a man with a huge on daytime TV for it not to be titillating. No, there are was... housewives sat there doing their knitting and, and drinking their cups of tea or stay at home husbands. All go. Or oh, missed kinsmen. I'm busy at work. I've got, I'm a professional. I've got a job to do. Did you know you can watch this morning on replay? No. Can you? Mm. Um, what day was this on? <laughs> I've got a job. I've got a job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they don't usually have anything on there that I, I'd be into. You know, who stands these magazine shows where it's just a few people chat, chatting away and interviewing random people and talking about rubbish? Who exactly. listens? What's a show like that? Nobody. But well, that's all from the buzz this week. Stick around as coming up we have a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back, and yes, you are watching Chewing the Cut, and we're going to play Uza Kazoo. And this one is for the man who's found something interesting under his bed. Has he? Mmm. It's Mike. Off you pop. Not my bed. Not my bed. Game of the week. Whose bed have you been looking under? Better not be mine. Anyway, I believe you have a kazoo ready at hand. I do, but I'm going to tell you this story first because it's brilliant. So, as you are aware, I am recently bereft. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I've not spoken to my father in 21 years. Yes, it's, we're not particularly sad about his passing, are we? Well, well we're sad about the passing. We're just not going to miss him that much. Okay. Um, was very homophobic, called me the F word. Yeah, yeah made a screen call. Not, we all not, have difficult relationships where? with our parents, um, yes. So, but unfortunately, I've had to clean out his, his flat. I was under his bed. Oh, no, what did you find? Um, a and and what I'm going to call a very impressive personal aid. Wow! Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, you hit it here first. Bottoming is genetic. So, are you ready for the first one, Mist? <laughs> wow! After all the he gave you. I've heard some stories, ladies and gentlemen, and they, this was not a nice person. And oh, wow! <laughs> yes, I've also found a couple of VHSs, and I'm not sure whether I want to watch them. So, the first song. <laughs> wow! Are you ready? That's 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 not me for six. That has okay. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not his son. Can you? I could imagine I was there, Mist. I have to imagine I lived it. Going, oh, what's this? Oh, 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 oh! Silicone lube as well, so we knew what he was doing. Right, the first one. Maybe, maybe that was his way of trying to understand you better, and, and just like the bottle of lube was years, virtually empty. He was just trying you, a little experimentation. You've so mentioned you feel you, closer to you've you. mentioned gun oil already today. And that's, right, first song. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I can't get the image of your dad down my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, do you again? So sorry. Yeah, please try that song again because um, I'm, I'm rather distracted now. <laughs> No? Ladies and gentlemen, this man is recently bereft. I am recently bereft! I, I, I genuinely don't have a clue about that one. <laughs> um, it was um, Atomic Kitten Hole again. <laughs> Why is that funny, Mist? <laughs> well, that was a good rendition. <laughs> Hold again. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I'm feeling a bit chesty. Don't know what happened there, but okay, next one. <laughs> Uh, could you do that again? Because I didn't quite get it, and do it with the dance routine this time. <laughs> That, that's the wrong dance routine. You said a dance routine. I said the dance oh, routine, okay. and you know damn well I did. <laughs> if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Be yes. on side. Yes, exactly. Correct. Yes. Yes, I'm. I, I'm okay with the Great American Gay Songbook. Okay, that that's that's good. Handy for this game, really. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm liking the little shoulder shimmy that you're doing. There's a bit of a shoulder shimmy going on there. Um, I, I, I nearly got that. Um, midnight. Oh, God. I, um, I, I've got the lyrics coming in my head, but I can't. See, see the lyrics then. Just say the lyrics. I, I, can you do it again, please? Just a little. A little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I'm trying to do it myself. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not getting it. I, 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 I vaguely recognise it. Uh, you, you're doing a, a good job. It's, it's my memory that's failing me. Okay, it's pony. 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 Pony by by genuine. Oh, okay. I was thinking of an entirely different song then. No, you that was a terrible it. performance. You did an awful job. Run it, my pony. That one. No, that's that's entirely the wrong one. No. What what, what song do you think I was doing? Um, it wasn't Genuine's Pony. That song I know very well from uh, watching Magic Mike far too many times. <laughs> yeah, you have to leave the cinema. <laughs> right, the next one. <laughs> I have gone to a cinema wearing a long Mac. Sound like a bee furiously wanking. Okay. Never heard a bee furious wa furiously wanking. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they only make that noise when they're flying. So what you're saying there is the, the bees like start stop flying. Well, they only go buzz because the wings are beating. And they've got other limbs still available to them. I'm sure they can have an in-flight wank if they want. 
did you know every time a bee um, rests its wings and picks them up, all the hairs have got slightly hooks in? So every time they, they land or they take off, they, they rip a little bit of their wing. Um, and that's what actually kills them over the time, the wings being torn to shreds. What a horrible fact. I didn't say it was a lovely fact. It's very morbid. I'm recently bereft. <laughs> right. Um, it was, it was, uh, I would have thought you'd got this one. It's untouched by the Veronicas. I have never, I, 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 I'm going to have to Google that one. It's a good, it's a good tune. It's very, very mid 2000s, kind of in a, like a LaRue kind of era. Any song after the millennium. Um, music died uh, after the millennium. Got Beyonce, that was after the millennium. <sighs> okay, this one was before the millennium then. Okay. <laughs> Natalie and Brugley torn. It is, yeah. Natalie and Brugley torn. That's good music. It's actually a cover song as well. It is a cover song, yeah. I was singing the original because I'm fancy. Okay. Did did like a little little bit of that. It is a good song. Okay. Um. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. I'm not doing very well this week. Think fierce LGBTQIA plus alternative slash ally person who is named after a colour. Think of song of singers who are named after a colour. What colour are the lips behind you? <coughs> Purple. No, that's the lighting. I am colour blind. Okay. Think um, spiky blonde hair, aerial artist. Pink. Yes. Name a pink song. Um. Uh, cover me in sunshine. That's quite pretty. I like that song. Just like a pill. Just like a pill. That that was your just like a pill. That was my just like a pill. <sighs> Sometimes I think me not doing very well in this show isn't down to me. Always nice to be wrong. I suppose they're missed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm I'm I'm, I'm underappreciated in my lifetime. And I'm recently bereft. <laughs> Unappreciated art. Art's a bit strong. Well, stick around as next it's Mike in that science that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to be educated beyond recognition as it's Mike in that science that is. That science, that is. Now, Mist, you know when you're going to the meal deal selection on your lunch? Mm hmm. What, what choices do you make? Um, I, I, I go for what I want at the time that's probably not good for me. Like what? Um, like, like lots of sandwiches and carbs and um, eggs and, and meats. Eggs, now there's what I was hoping for. Ooh. Okay. Because you ever noticed how they're always perfectly peeled hard boiled eggs? Yes. You ever wondered how they do that? No. Try the answer again. You ever wondered how they do that? <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's baffled me for years. Correct it, it's, answer. It's been a source of an intense dilemma that I do not know the answer to this. All right, dial it back a bit. <laughs> right. Um, so uh, we're going to do it today on a small individual scale, but we're going to basically 
peel an egg without using our hands on the egg. Oh, okay. I usually have to... I, I do eat a lot of, of, of boiled eggs. I know. I smash a lot of shells up. I know you eat a lot of boiled eggs. We can tell from the smell. Protein farts are the sign of a good exercise regimen. It's the, the aura of egg you have around you at all times that I was referring to. Anyway, um, so the first thing we're going to choose is a jar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have a lovely mason jar. Now, the reason why we're using mason jar is because it has a seal. Yes, I like a mason jar. I like a, I like a seal almost as much as I like a sea lion. So you're going to take your water um, and Ooh. you're going to fill the mason jar about halfway. Halfway. About okay. halfway. Why do you always do um, that science that is with liquids where you're nowhere near electrics and I am? Because... If you want to come and do that science that is, you're more than welcome to come over and do that science that is. Well, we both know that I'm not the intelligent one of the pair. Even I can admit that. Yeah. Or the uh, I just acknowledging the fact you're trying to kill me. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, so about halfway. I'm not so stupid that I can't recognise... Out there. Murder. It's not murder. If you accidentally die, not my fault. Okay. So, that is, believe it or not, highly abrasive. Water? Water. Okay. What you now need to do is you need to get your egg. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've got mine down here because we're in a little green box. Okay. And then ever so gently, ever so gently, pop it in. Okay. <laughs> you, you've done that with your run before, haven't you? And so have you. Oh! <laughs> it's stuck! There we go. That's what he says to all the boys. Right. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to seal up the mason jar. Okay. Making sure that it's on very tight, because we don't want to drippy drippy. Okay. Now, this is going to use centrifugal force. Do you mean swishing about a bit? Swishing about a lot. Okay. Mm. And all we're going to do is literally swirl. Okay. okay. And then we're going to swirl this way. And this is what the big machines do. Okay. Oh, it's like a washing machine. Like a washing machine. Okay. And as it spins around, the egg is going to peel itself. Oh, wow! <laughs> it actually does! This is, this, is, this is the best that size that is ever! Yeah, so if, I'm just going to start. Oh, I mean, it's got a bit... Oh, you didn't hard boil your egg. You monster! That proper came apart then. I was getting all excited then. And now I've just got a frothy... <laughs> you've got very, very thin mayonnaise, is what you've got there. Oh. Do you want to try it again with a different egg, then? Um, it's... Uh, you've got a bowl. Empty, empty, your, your, empty your jar into your bowl. I feel like I've been made a fool of. You should do that on your own. It's all a little bit... Ooh, now. Yeah. I... <laughs> he got so excited. I was it really getting well. quite excited. I noticed. Then. Yeah, I was there. I thought I'd found a solution to all my boiled egg needs. Your boiled egg needs. Do I, 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 I've, You've got I, an egg I've got a spare. You'll have an egg, egg in right? the cupboard. <laughs> you planned this, you monster. Almost like I planned it, you know, you're right. Almost. Almost. Ruddy did. You're, you're not the evil mastermind you think you are, you know. Same thing I do every night, try and take over the world. <laughs> Hang on. If you're the brain, does that make me pinky? <sighs> God. <laughs> what are we doing tonight, Brian? Same thing we do every night, pinky. We're trying to take over the world. Oh, my God. I think we've just found the baseline of our double act here. Now, the problem is this is a lot of energy for my little arms. I would have peeled this myself by now. Yes, but it, it, I do find, and I do peel a lot of eggs. It does take a long time. It will not take time. It's, it's just getting every bit of it off. Yeah. But this is how they do it in, in industries. <sighs> they have big, big barrels that just rush them around, and there's no, there's no grating or anything because that'll just damage the eggs. So. See, it's not working as well now. That's because it's hard boiled now. I'm going to agitate a different way now. 
Just because I can. What are you doing to that poor egg? <laughs> This is this is the most sex life I've had in ages. Oh, yeah, baby, oh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> if you just cut, if you just cut out everything from the shoulders down, there's people who pay money for this on OnlyFans. Not a lot. What? Well, and then what you'll start to see is it'll just, at one point, it'll just come off in a big clumpy bit. So I think mine's actually done. So. <sighs> it's not as exciting now. <sighs> is that? I've got a perfectly central egg. Centrifugal force, using long words to pretend he's clever. I want this egg now. I might as well have just cracked it. They cracked the first one. Mm. Oh well. That's right, that's right. I'm giving up. I'm having the egg. That science, that is. Did you cook this egg all the way through? It's a bit spongy. Did I cook the egg all the way through? I boiled the egg. Well, yeah. For 25 minutes. 25 minutes? 25 it, minutes. It's still rubbery well, like this. What happened was I, I put it in the pan. Did mm -hmm. you start them off cold? Mm -hmm. right, you put it in a pan with cold water, then turn the heat on and just leave it, right? Um, the thing is, I then went, oh, I need a poo. So I went for a poo. Have you washed your hands as well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because what I do is after I have a poo, is I have a shower. So that's my morning routine, poo, then shower. Poo, then shower. Right? I'm finding more about you than I, I needed to know. I don't poo in the shower, unlike some <laughs> right? um, Just saying. And, and so then I came down and went, oh, shit, they're makes. So they've been boiling for like a good 25 minutes. <laughs> but it will be cooked all the way through. It just, it just... It's, it's an overcooked boiled egg. It is an overcooked boiled egg. I, I don't like, think this was a success, a success. I do not. I do not think this was a successful. That was a quite difficult word, you know. Successful for you, yeah. <laughs> I do not I think this is su a su a successful. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, you just bite into it. Usually, I put a little little salt and pepper on to garnish. That's almost the end of the show. Seasoning. That's almost the end of the show for now. Remember to join us on our social media at the Cud TV in all the usual places, including egg fans. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Mm. Bye. Mom. Keep bigger things in your mouth than that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How long does it take you to swallow? You've not heard that before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> I usually gargle. Uh huh. I do that with an egg though. Hold a minute.